good route runner. So we're going to see a pretty good blocker. Uh, I would say overall the film is is pretty damn exciting for him. I really do like this signing a lot. So he's attached right here towards the top of the screen um, in line. And let's see. Again, I get I get relatively record happy. The one thing with rocker steps too is like when he's breaking it down as much as he does, you you want to watch doing it in space. When you're doing it in space, you know, giving giving that extra step um, instead of like a speed cut, it could allow the defender to get back in on the route. Now, is, is it how it's designed? Uh, you know, you don't know. But in general, for Conklin, again, a tight end who you're not really hearing much about um, in terms of in terms of route running. Uh, for him to be throwing rocker steps is is great. And we're gonna see right here. One, two, and that's just that's just making the the uh the linebacker think that he's gonna break outside, break step, and then he thinks he's gonna go he's gonna go again over that left foot to the outside. And again, it's rocker. One, two, back inside, both in steps. In step, in step. You're gonna see him get tight. You see that drive step? The drive step is really, really tight under his frame, gets to the inside easy catch it's that's that's easy money right there for for conklin um again it's it's against a linebacker who's off so it looks really simple you were gonna see a lot more in the review of him doing it against some tighter man coverage or just tighter coverage in general so um let's see conklin run block um right side of your screen here he's attached single back So it's not the cleanest block in the world. It's not like he, it's not like he drives him completely outside. The thing I do, the thing I do like, I, I could tell right off the jump again, I recorded this in, in March. I'm doing a show in July. So I forget a lot of the plays I record. Mostly the whole reviews. I forget, I forget, obviously I can't, you know, f certain plays stand out and things like that, but um, good, good inside out angle. We're seeing him, I think land the left hand inside. And then even though he's a little bit high and he gets popped up a little bit, the fact that he is, he's, he's grabbing the shoulder pad and lifting again, we talk a lot about push first lift. Um, and you're really trying to create movement. You, you, you want to lift a guy. Um, pushing is not really, it, it's re there's really not a lot of situations you want to push first lift, but here it gets under the pads again, deflect that force. Don't go force for force. So deflecting that force up a little bit, drive him as hard as he can. Now 57 tries to get inside on the, on the running back, running back reads it. Uh, and cuts outside, which is Dalvin Cook, so he's gonna be pretty good at that. Um, but not a great run block. It's a, it's a decent one. Um, like there are definitely cleaner ones. Again, I always say I get I get record happy, which is funny because the people who only watch the first couple of plays, you're seeing probably the lesser of the entire review in terms of in terms of quality of plays, unless it happens early um, on in the review, which there will be. But he's right here, off the line scrimmage a little bit. Another block. Um, this one you really this this one I I, I definitely like um, more, and the reason being, okay, now we have a situation where the the Vikings are running um, this bootleg, or sorry sorry, I apologize. It's not a, it's not a bootleg. It is an end around, and with the end around, he's the, he's a the lead blocker in the end around. But the thing about it, this play is where he finds I think I think ninety four is, is Hubbard. I could be wrong, but he finds Hubbard at an at an inside out angle, but he knows the run is designed to go to the outside. So what does he have to do? He has to get that positional leverage or work to get that positional leverage. And if not positional leverage, at least in front of him to give him a two-way go, I think uh, with Jefferson getting the ball. So um, again, gets flat, gets hands on, ducks his head a little bit, but okay, gets hands on. And then we're gonna see him try to work past him or at least get even with him to allow Jefferson to get to the outside because we don't want, as, as, as a, the lead blocker on this play, you don't want to get outflanked and make him cut back inside because that's not where the run's going to be effective. That's where the more of the pursuit is. So good understanding by Conklin to continue to work his feet to get at least heads up to, to outside leverage on him, allowing, again, Jefferson um, to get outside and then oh, eventually pass the ball to uh, 17. So I forgot that that part of it was coming. Another rocker step. Let's see how this one is. Uh, I think this one's pretty. This one's really pretty. I think I put this one up on, on Twitter a while ago, but he's right here. Attached to the line of scrimmage again. He's running this this route now versus a, a, a safety. I forget. I think it's Bell, um, but this is a really, <laughs> it's a really good break for a tight end. Like we're not we're not just talking like. And honestly, it's not even for a tight end. This is a good route in general. And now you're talking about a guy um, who, looking at his his, um, I'm trying to see how how tall how how big he is. I, I know I, obviously I have his stuff. He is. I think people consider him like small, but six three two fifty. He's really not. He's 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 not the tallest tight end in the world, but he's he's got some meat to him. So 
right here versus Bell. Um, again, it's a really good rocker step. Why is it a really good rocker step? Because he stems vertical, never shows his eyes. So, so Bell is already thinking like, what the hell is going on? He's never, he's not really looking at me. Um, maybe he's trying to hold him inside. Now he, now he does rocker. One, two. So he throws, and, and you're going to see this a lot with his rockers. He typically throws a, a, a stop step, then a rocker, just to slow himself down. We'll see him sometimes kind of like go more speedy into a rocker. But here we're seeing breaks that we're, or we're seeing, and, and this is what the, the DB is thinking about as well. Stop, break, right? That's what we usually see. Stop, break, but you throw the rocker in there. One, two, with a little head, with the, with the, with the jab outside. Pull the elbow back in the inside arm to to allow your hips to turn. Get inside, toast them. If if I if I was going to tell you at this moment, hey, he's running an inside break right here. Is he going to win that route? He's not supposed to win this route with with a, a safety with heavy inside leverage. But the rocker step there is absolutely perfect, and it works. Um, it works to perfection because of how he executes it. Again, gets that drive step under his frame. Really, really flat break. Because if he were to not have a good break and he dripped up field, guess what? Maybe Bell gets a hand back inside, and he uh, and he slingshots himself back to to being able to play uh, the ball or, or at least the hands. So really, really good rocker. Watch one more time because it is ridiculously pretty to me. Um, it's simple, but that is massive. Pass block. Okay. Again, I'm widening this. Hopefully, it, it widens for you guys as well. Um, he's right here. Let's watch the pass block first. A, a, D, a big ass D end. Again, situation where, oh my God, well, he got beat and he got blown up back to the quarterback. It's a terrible play. Is it really? Like you're, you're talking about a 250 pound tight end who's blocking a D end who, who looks to be at least, at least 265, at the minimum 265, 270. It's not, it's not a situation he's necessarily supposed to win. You just want to see him hold up. And the things that the thing that I like about this is, um, just in terms of okay, him knowing the play fake, him him knowing that the inside gap right here, the C gap, is going to be weak if he doesn't shuffle inside. What does he do? Shuffle inside again. You want to maintain that in t- inside versus outside leverage. Going to beat outside is much more, uh, I, not not. I guess it's much more preferred than inside, but neither way is preferred, obviously. So, good job staying square, shuffling inside to maintain that inside out relationship. Gets hands on better leverage you know he's he's under his pads now yeah you know he get, he gets he gets extended and 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 conklin tries to maintain that contact um but the the end is able to to sink down and, and bull rush him a little bit but conklin one the effort two and just him him realizing okay i'm about to get onto the quarterback's lap and for him to kind of turn and use that core strength to try to just 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 twist him a little bit more up the arc to allow the quarterback to step up or move um, or just to slide and the slide as he does and, and deliver the pass, um, which I don't think lands. But again, it's not an A plus play; it's a B plus play. We'll take that. Trust me. Watching guys like Griffin and and I don't know, I, I liked Croft. I'm not gonna lie, I like I, I like Croft as a as a three, um, not as a one. As a three, it's a different story, but going from you know guys like that and Eric Tomlinson and Kellen Davis and all these scrubs we've had over the years, no offense to them, um, sure they're not listening anyway, to watching even a B-plus play, pretty impressive. So let's watch him um, on this play. He is right here. Again, he's a, he's a guy who's going to play in the backfield, in line, uh, slot, inside slot, outside slot. He, he does pretty much everything. So he's right here. Again, now he's running a uh, another route versus a safety. Yeah, so we're seeing him beat a safety of the line. Again, pretty impressive. Um, he uses that stretch release. It's a slight stretch release. It's not, and, and he uses a little bit of like that, like that gather step. So we don't necessarily, and call it a split, call it a gather. And it's, it gets, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's more like a gather. So he, he gathers himself. I don't always love that, but with this gather, it gives him a, it gives him a second to, to react and obviously get um, in a little bit more of an explosive stance, which sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't. Here, it works out, so we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But he uses that gather, works off the instep of that inside foot, little stretch release. Again, you want I, I, 
ideally you want a little bit more forceful. Um, it's not threatening as much as, as I, as the most ideal situation. You want to get a little bit more vertical to really sell it, but it sells the, the DB enough where he shuffles outside, shuffles outside. Conklin works past that. So it worked, right? You know, gather slight stretch, a little bit of a head fake, get inside. Now, the only thing on a corner route you'd, you'd want to see him do to make it a perfect play would be to, just to get just to get on top of him as quickly as you can. Um, you can see he gets he gets he gets vertical, runs his corner out, and Bell. I, I think it's Bell is still underneath of it. Ideally, if he were to if he were to win and then just stack and almost like scrape off the back of him, so he has to play underneath of you. That would be the most ideal situation. Um, but it's still it's still a good release um, or relatively good release that gets him open at least enough to be an option. You know, he could chuck it up to him in that situation. Uh, Conklin pass block right here. Now, again, we're seeing a tight end versus a D end, which again, not the most ideal situation, but he handles his business. Now, does this, does, does Cousins have to step up? Uh, yes, he does. <clears throat> and do we do we necessarily love the technique from Conklin? You know, no. If this was if this was George Fant or Becton, would I have a problem with what he does right here? Uh, yes. But at the same point, he's setting heavy outside. He's 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 sitting inside. He's not he's not it's not like he's he's vertical setting sitting in, or or opening the hips where the inside's going to be open. He's setting. He he doesn't really he doesn't get vertical. So he's really emphasizing maintaining that inside uh, versus outside relationship. DN commits to the outside. You know, again, do we want to do we want to see his 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 feet have more balance, not leaning into it, etc.? Yes, but at the end of the day, it's a tight end, and if he just gets the job done, he gets the job done. Left hand lands with you know relatively good timing. Right hand lands. Try to match him. Try to push him up the arc. Push him up the arc. Push him up the arc. You know, he he's he's creating some push. He pushes him three yards. Now, yes, does does cousin has cousins have to step up and throw a ball? Um, you know, a very easy ball to to seventeen. Sure, yes, he does. Which actually, I don't. I don't remember his. I don't remember his name honestly. Um, but yeah, he forced. He, he, you know, if, if if Cousins didn't step up, does he get the SWAT? Probably he get, he gets at least a hand on, but Cousins has to feel that out. And for, just for the tight, or just for the for the Vikings to be confident in him, and you're going to see this throughout the film confident enough in him to handle DNs on pass walking situations one-on-one is, is a compliment to him. And it's not even, and, and you have to look at it situationally too. Like there are tight ends who can be trusted for pass blocking on a three-step drop or a screen. But are you asking that same tight end to, to, to block a five-step drop, seven-step drop or play action? No. And we've seen him already block play action, which is a longer play. It's longer developing. So you're really putting a lot of faith in this guy. Um, and, and clearly the Vikings had, faith in him and there's a reason why if you can start taking out dns with t- with tight ends we're talking about a, s- a severely versatile attack um right here rocker let's see this one again it's very slight um this one and he doesn't even make the catch but it's it's really good and 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 why is it good because initially 